Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of equations and inequalities, specifically how we can write them from problem situations, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a sample problem here, and let's just read it to see exactly what's going on, and then we'll figure out what it is we're supposed to do. So Carlos has 25 Robux, and he gets 800 Robux a week. All right, so we're dealing with Roblox here. So he gets 800 a week. That's pretty good. Angel has, oh, look at that. His cousin Angel gets 5,000 Robux to start with, but only gets 400 Robux a week. Okay, so that's different. Then we need to write an inequality that can be used to find x, the number of weeks. You know, how long will it take for Carlos to have more than Ro more Robux than Angel? Carlos starts with 25, but gets more per week than Angel does. All right. So in order for us to really understand this, we are going to take a look at three different terms. So we need to understand what our variable is. We need to know if we have any constants. And we need to know if we have any coefficients. Once we know those, it's easy for us to write our inequality. So let's see what we have here. We've got two different people. We're just going to make a little table to keep our thoughts organized. So we've got Carlos. And we've got Angel. All right, so our variable, so let's put that over here. A variable, that's an unknown, usually represented with a letter. So in this case, it's going to be this x, right? So he's got x, and really that's just looking at the number of weeks. So once we figure out the number of weeks, we can represent that with x, or even if we're not wanting to solve it, which this particular problem doesn't actually want us to solve it. We can just leave it as x, but we could use that to solve it. So a variable is an unknown, and usually they'll give it to you. We represent them by a letter. Sometimes x, but sometimes I've seen k, p, l, any number works, or any letter works. So let's check our constant. So a constant doesn't change. All right, so let's think of that definition of that word constant. So think of a term that doesn't change. It's just kind of stuck there. And we actually have a constant for both Carlos and Angel. Carlos has 25 Robux. Okay? And that's the amount that he starts with doesn't change. So we're going to put that as a constant for Carlos. He gets 800 Robux a week. So this 800 Robux a week we're going to hold on to. That's going to be our coefficient. Angel has a constant. He has 5,000 Robux. Look how different that is. So his starting amount doesn't change. If we're thinking of like a slope intercept form, right, these would be the y intercepts. These would be the ones that are not attached to a variable because that's what a coefficient is. A coefficient is attached to a variable or changes the variable. So it's multiplied by the variable, and you see that this term right here, a week, a week, x is the number of weeks. So that's our clue that we've got some coefficients. So Carlos has got 800 a week, and Angel has 400 a week. All right, so those are our coefficients. So let's see if we can put these together. So Carlos has, I'm going to put my uh, coefficient of variable first, 800 Robux a week, 800x, plus what's he start with? He starts with 25. Now we want to know how many weeks it will take for Carlos to have more than, so we're going to go greater than. And then we've got Angel. Angel, let's get his coefficient. He gets 400 a week. A week is x. Remember that x is the number of weeks. Plus, what does he start with? 5,000. If we wanted to make this an equation, right, we would just change this to have the same. And then we could turn that into an equation.